What is up lads and welcome back now to episode number 13 of Edo's Road to Glory and as you can see guys at the start we just messed the team around a bit you know make sure everyone's on the nine chemistry and we make sure the fitness is all nice and high we're going to a game against this guy he's got quite a ridiculous team to be perfectly honest you know he's got quite a lot of blue cards silver cards gold cards and an informed goalkeeper as well you know he's got quite a lot of five star skillers you know really fast defenders you know really fast strikers quite a ridiculous team to be perfectly honest but you know in this game you know I didn't exactly to play badly but I just I didn't get the rub of the green, you know, to be perfectly honest. The referee, you know, saved a couple of decisions from the referee, and he was very disappointing. You know, I was, I was going to blame Danny Simpson for the loss. That's what I normally like to do, just blame Danny Simpson, you know, put it on him. But no, um, I blame the referee this time. <laughs> yeah, that's for the, this guy that posted in the comment a few episodes back saying blame Danny Simpson. Yeah, anyway, guys, yeah, he gets a penalty there. It was quite a harsh call from the referee, to be perfectly honest. I didn't think it was a penalty, you know, um, before my defender won the ball quite cleanly, but the referee fought otherwise, which was a little a bit frustrating and then I do believe I actually get one back which I was quite you know surprised at myself nice long ball forward there from a defender which is like the nice nice you know Stoke City style is hoof it hoof head foot goal that's how we, we like to play the games so yeah there don't be in the 45th minute get a nice get we gets one back really brings it a free one I mean, I'm not sure what Dumbia is doing now, <laughs> but unfortunately for me, he does actually get another goal, which was, you know, the, 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 I was just it was quite unlucky that you know the ball just bounces and it falls to him from the defender, which was, yeah, was kind of frustrating. You know, there's nothing I could really do, which was kind of frustrating. But yeah, I also get a couple of red cards in this game, you know, just for the um, the law factor. This year, I do not believe it was a red card. I believe I won the ball, but the referee thought otherwise. Straight red card for my Italian defender from Juventus. Which was quite frustrating. I should show you the replay here. For me, I, w I won the ball quite cleanly. You know, won the ball cleanly. Cleanly, the player dived over like Ashley Young. I was completely robbed of a man. But yeah, and then I do believe I get another red card here, <laughs> which is kind of even more frustrating. There's um, another Juventus centre back getting himself a red card, and yeah, it was c quite a harsh decision for me. You know, I, I did come from pain as you can sort of see in the replay, but I, I thought I won the ball quite cleanly. You know, I was going to blame Danny Simpson for that one, but I decided not to. But yeah, guys, this is my first video in two get two two games or two days i think you can say it properly and then yeah, there's a nice tramp for your eyes yeah first video in two days i was kind of busy the day before yesterday i had an interview so obviously i couldn't sort of upload and yesterday i just i wasn't feeling like it and i just didn't upload basically so yeah but i'm gonna have regular videos as of sort of today again i'm gonna be uploading every day so yeah hope you enjoy that but yeah guys this is actually going to be the last episode of edo's road to glory which is you know might disappoint some years but i'm just kind of getting a little bit um tedious you know because i've pretty much got a full goal team there's nothing more i can pretty much do you know so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be starting a, a new road to glory tomorrow but it's going to be with not maybe not tomorrow maybe the next day and um, with sort of a sort of a different player so what i want from you guys is to leave a comment with sort of which player i should do a road to glory with so you know like like say you know like any player you want really it could be like Messi's road to glory or, or whatever i'm probably not going to do like Messi or ronaldo because they've been done like pretty much by everyone but as you can see here guys i list my my full team off for sale because i was just a little bit frustrated you know when i get beat i just I don't really like getting beat, but yeah, actually this is kind of a bit of like a squad builder as well. I'll show you the squad. It's quite a nice hybrid, you know. It's quite a nice way to end the series with a nice sort of nice hybrid. Quite a expensive team, I suppose. In goal we have got a Korean fella called Kim, um, Young Kwang Kim. He's not the greatest goalkeeper, to be perfectly honest. He's quite disappointing. I've played quite a few offline games um, with my, well not offline, online games with my friends where it doesn't affect your record. And um, yeah, very disappointing. He lets me down quite often. It right back we have Kim as Kit Kwang so Kim. <laughs> that sounded wrong uh, he's got 93 pace he's you know he's quite a he's good bronze right back but when he comes up against higher rated players he's got quite a poor touch so that kind of lets him down you know centre back we have also another Korean fellow of 86 pace you know he's got quite a good pace but he's I, I wasn't really feeling him too perfectly honest so also got dead air there at centre back you know Brazilian centre back 81 pace you're all more about him really good centre back left back we have got Azevedos I kind of I maybe shouldn't have got him I didn't really have enough coins to get him but I kind of got him and then my Sort of my midfield was slightly weakened, but I suppose that's that's the way it goes sometimes. In the central midfield, we have Roberto Carlos, and um, sort of linking up with Dead and you're linking up with Inform Eto'o at, at striker, obviously. Yeah, he's quite a good player. You know, he's probably for me one of the best players in the squad. It right um, central midfield, we have another Korean. He is called um, Park. Uh, John Woo Park, he's a bronze central midfielder, 77 pace. We also have a silver um, seven, uh, silver central midfielder, Korean there, just to rotate if they're sort of low on fitness and all that good stuff. 
Actually, they're not that bad players. They're actually quite good players for like just uh, silver and bronzes. In left centre mid, we have this fella there. He's only there at the start of this video because I didn't have enough coins to get um, uh, Carlos, Carlos Eduardo. Um, so yeah, you'll see at the end of the episode, we do actually pick up Carlos Eduardo. But yeah, right wing, we have Lee. He's got 93 pace, really fast player. His, his, so his touch isn't the greatest. He hasn't got the greatest shot. But we also have a replacement for him in, in Tay UK. Choi? Choi? Yeah, Tay. Yeah, yeah, I think I said that right. Yeah, he's 81 page. You know, he's a good silver uh, Korean. Obviously, up front, we have Samuel Eto'o. And you can sort of see we're using the 4 3 3. I'm not like the biggest fan of this formation, to be perfectly honest. I've never really used it before, but um, I thought I would give it a go, you know, because I've, I've never used it basically. And I fancied Eto'o was sort of the, sort of the main focal point. And at left wing, we have uh, Bus Busafa. He's actually in a left midfield. I, I actually run out the coins to convert him to a left wing, but he does get the. I think he gets the nine chemistry when I put in Collis. Collis said, what do I think he gets it anyway? Yeah, he gets, he gets the nine chemistry anyway there. So that didn't really affect him. The only person that's not on nine chemistry is Dede and obviously the central midfielder, but they'll be on uh, nine and seven chemistry respectively when I get them in. I get Carlos Eduardo in in the cam position because I didn't actually have enough coins to sort of put him in as a central midfielder. But yeah, guys, that is the team. We're going to play one game of this team and that'll pretty much be the end of the, so the episode. And I'll show you there some of the players that sold, so pretty, pretty much every single player sold from the, the previous team for quite a lot of coins. I must have raised about a hundred no, not a hundred thousand, about fifty thousand, maybe fifty, sixty thousand. So yeah, um, I'll try and leave the details of the players in the description if I if I can still got the footage of the prices and stuff. But I suppose you can when I when I pause the, if you could just pause it when you see the players, you could um get them. We're going to a game, guys, against this guy. He's got quite of a strange team, you know. He's quite quite got quite a lot of pace in his team, you know. The left midfielder who's at central midfielder is a carousel. I do believe he's got four star skills. He's actually quite a good bronze player if you're building a bronze team. And they, he gets an absolute rocket of a start there. Higuain, an absolute monster of, of a shot. But my goalkeeper there, you'll see in this sort of game, the goalkeeper was them sort of long rangers. He just he cannot he cannot handle he cannot handle it basically. And then um, luckily for me there, Lee Lee Quang Lee Quan Ching. Uh, that's just that, that, that just sounds racist, but yeah, passes it across to Edo. A nice little sort of cross pass, um, cross field pass. But unfortunately for me, his defender gets an absolute rocket. Reed, I think he's the right back. I think he's a bronze English fella. Absolute bomb of it. At left foot on him. I, I couldn't believe it when he scored that. But I actually do get a penalty there with Samuel Eto'o. It was quite a, quite a fortunate penalty, I've got to say. I don't think it was a penalty personally. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And remember to leave a comment with who you want us to do a road to glory with next. I'm open to any suggestions, you know. Try and keep it under about sort of 300k. I haven't exactly got millions and millions of coins. So I can't be doing like team of the yeah Ronaldo or something like that but yeah hope you enjoyed this episode guys it's kind of running to a close yeah I do believe I got a couple of more goals that's quite a nice little goal by there Busafa you know nice little little um, fake reborn and a nice little side footer in the back of the net past the helpless goalkeeper but yeah guys hope you enjoyed this series you know I'm d disappointed it's coming to an end as such but I kind of just um I got a little bit bored of it or you know I kind of like they sort of mix it up and every now and again I don't like to sort of run with the same sort of setup but yeah guys this video is coming to a close we get the 4-2 win with my only um game online with this team so yeah Absolutely, I pretty much dominate the guy on the stats. And I do believe he rage quits, which is quite funny, I suppose. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Remember, leave a comment with the suggestions of who I should start the next. And I'm going to sign up now, guys. And this is just pretty much the end of the um, video, just showing you that I get the win. So, yeah, guys, peace.